forces and injured rider Tyler Helmig. Driver Kelly Sutherland got the news today. He was suspended from tonight's final race. The Stampede says the decision sends a strong message to competitors that safety cannot be compromised and people will be held accountable for their actions. Choke wagon driver Ray Mitsuing was blamed for the crash that killed three horses and sent driver Tyler Helmick to hospital. Mitsuing got little sleep overnight as he recalled the events of Saturday night's seventh heat. The gap just kept getting closer and closer and I started yelling at Kelly to get over it, get over it. He yelled at him and he said, I dropped the line, I dropped the line. Yeah, and then good. all of a sudden I felt this wagon of mine jump up in the air and I knew... Uh, uh, here he going down. The incident, of course, was put down overnight. All four wagons were headed around the first turn. During the pileup, Tyler Helmick was ejected from his wagon. His injuries weren't considered life-threatening, but sources around the barns say his future as a chuck wagon driver may be in doubt. One of the horses involved in the crash was killed instantly. One was euthanized on the track, and a third horse was put down overnight. Through the crash and the controversy, one outrider is being hailed a hero. When Tyler Helmick was ejected from his wagon, outrider Chance Vegan leapt from his horse into the wagon. He struggled to get control, but quite possibly prevented even more chaos and injuries. Kevin Rich, CTV News, at the Calgary Stampede. Animal rights activists are once again calling for an end to the chuck wagon races.